happy Monday everyone. I decided I would just pop in here today and just kind of give you a little piece into my life and what I do for our monthly budgeting um, and what gets us by in our family of four. And so I figured why not just be upfront and real and show you actual numbers because I have found when I came on to YouTube and watched other bloggers talk about their budgeting and um, just the down like nitty gritty of what they budget and all that, it has really helped us in our journey towards becoming debt free. So I figured why not jump on here and hopefully I can help one of you guys out. Um, I also would love to hear from you guys what you guys do as well because um, I'm always wanting to learn more and more when it comes to budgeting. And again, just towards our debt-free journey. With that said, we like to do what's called the envelope system. So I'm sure you're probably already familiar with this. Um, it is a Dave Ramsey part of his debt-free, um, whatever you call it, the program. Um, but I have learned that once we started the envelope system, we absolutely stayed on track with budgeting and um, weren't pinching pennies anymore and so I just think it's so important to have that cash on hand um, if you've ever struggled financially with spending too much and um, not getting towards your goals. So I just wanted to show you kind of what our method looks like and again I would love to hear from you. Alright guys here's the nitty gritty. So this is only specifically off of my husband's income. I do work as well but we like to base everything off of just his income. Um, just because we don't know, obviously, if for some reason, emergency-wise, I need to come home or what have you. So my paycheck specifically go towards debt, and that is completely it. Um, but we base my husband's income for our bills, our savings, and all of that and above. So with that said, um, I have a breakdown list of our bills, and then that includes groceries and gas. And then I do have our sinking funds listed below as well. So... Every time we get paid, um, every two weeks, I can come to this and I know exactly what's going to go into what account or what's going to go into my envelopes. So to make sense of this, since we get paid every two weeks, um, for the whole month we pay $8.50 for our rent, but divided by two is $4.25. So every paycheck I pull out $4.25 and throw that into our bills account. And when it comes to all these sinking funds, I pull out on the right side, this is how much I pull out to put in the envelope. So to make it easy and simple for myself and also for you guys to look at, I have added everything up and split it in half. So I know um, per paycheck, I need to pull out $1,141.50 and that goes towards Bill's account. And I know per paycheck, 285 is gonna be for our groceries and our gas. So on, two twenty-five per paycheck is for our sinking funds, and then debt and savings. Um, I just leave in our account, but half like so per paycheck I put three forty-eight fifty. So I found this really nice that I'm able to just grab this quickly look and glance instead of trying to kind of get an idea every pay period, trying to figure out okay how much. And on top of that, I don't know about you, but for some reason when stuff is pretty too, I just am better at it. I stick to things when it's pretty and I've made it look nice. And so as silly as that sounds, but I found that has worked for me. Um, so with that said, these are my envelopes and I made each one of these and I was very specific. You'll see, um, if you watch other YouTubers, you'll see several different ways that people have made um, their envelopes. And I found this was the best method best method for myself um, and just as what's worked for us so just to kind of give you an idea so <laughs> what I put under this tab it's kind of faded because it's dry erase um, is 125 so per paycheck we put $125 into this envelope um, for gas and then on the back I like to keep track um, anytime we take cash from it I like to mark the date and then put whatever is left in the amount. So right now we have $25 left and we have less than a week till our paycheck. So we're completely fine on that. So like Christmas gifts and gifts, we've pulled from this already for a couple birthdays this month, um, but we are saving currently for Christmas. Um, 
So yeah, it's just nice being able to just quickly look at this. Um, groceries, we do 160 per paycheck. Um, and we had 24 left and we have less than a week and plenty guys. Like it's crazy because it was kind of scary going into this because I was like, oh gosh, like, is this going to be enough? But I have found that I am spending so much less now that it's all on hand in cash. Um, when it was a debit card, I would just swipe without even thinking. And so it's just nice. I have to like actually stop and think, okay, is it worth it? You know, what? So we do an eating out envelope and this consists um, for my husband and I, when we go on date nights, um, if we have friends over and we want to get dinner for them, we pull from this envelope as well. And we have a vacation envelope. It's empty right now because... I don't know, we're not focused on a vacation right now, but this is one of those envelopes I want to start filling up here, um, this next paycheck. Um, we have talked about doing Disney possibly this next year, so I don't know, we'll figure out something and then there'll be motivation to start filling this one. Um, I don't really need this envelope, it's for our spending cash, but we hold our spending cash in our wallet but I just kind of like to have this so when I go to the bank I can quickly throw our spending cash in here um so I do separately I know a lot of people consider their toilet toiletries under their grocery items but I do find that I am more wise in spending when I have separated our toiletries and our groceries so toiletries consist of diapers toilet paper all that stuff and so it's just nice to have like the separate little envelope so car maintenance, um, this is going to be for our tags, for our cars, tires, anything like that. So we both have our tags expiring August of next year. So it's nice because we will have the cash in here for that. So it's just the huge thing about these guys is it just relieves you from so much stress and not having to, I don't know, not having to be so stressed out when those payments come up. Like you already have it on hand hand and that has been a huge sigh of relief so last envelope I have currently is what I consider just my extra envelope so any extra grocery money money or gas money at the end of the pay period I throw into this envelope and right now we've just been kind of using it for clothing for the kiddos anything like that anything that just random um I did have to buy like pumpkin decorations for my daughter so she could decorate her pumpkin and so I pulled it out from this and it was just nice because cash was there I didn't have to pull from um a different envelope that wasn't spe specific to that so I have found that this extra envelope has totally worked for us um and then too because I mean our ga gas and our groceries can fluctuate depends on the month and kind of what we're doing so it is nice when we do have the extra leftover I can toss in here and um, yeah, it's just on hand. So that's super nice. So eventually I'm going to make some more envelopes um, kind of as they're needed. Um, I know a lot of people get very specific, um, but I've kind of just done a generalized um, envelope system just for us like for right now as we go through this journey. Um, but yeah, it's just amazing, guys. So I know that's like a little short clip into this whole budgeting system and whatnot, but I just really hope that encourages you guys to just take control of your finances and get ahead because um, it feels so freeing to just be ahead of your finances. So I am planning on doing my cash um, envelope stuffing, and I will post a video of that so you guys can watch that um, with me. Um, I just kind of wanted to quickly get on here and just kind of show you so you guys kind of have a generalized idea. But I encourage you, um, if you follow along with any budget gals, just to kind of see their method and how they do it. Um, but I will tag, there is one girl that I follow and I absolutely love um, just how raw she is with it. And I just love when people are just raw and the fact that showing their finances and not being afraid to show what we have and our debt or what have you so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments um your thoughts um if you guys have advice too obviously i'd love to hear that hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye